What is Neo-Riemannian music theory? Neo-Riemannian theory allows for someone to analyze triadic harmony without needing to identify a tonic. It does this by relating triads to each other via shared notes. For instance, take a C major triad. If we move the C down to a B, we get E minor. These two triads are considered closely related because they only have a one note difference. They are more closely related than say C major and E major, which would require the C to be moved down to a B, as well as the G to a G sharp. These half and whole step transformations are the foundation of Neo-Romanian theory. Going back to the C major triad, because there are only three notes, and basic Neo-Riemannian theory only works with major and minor triads, there are three ways we can transform the triad to its most closely related neighbors. We can take the C down to a B to get E minor, the E down to an E flat to get C minor, or the G up to an A to get A minor. Each of these transformations have names. The first is a parallel transformation, the second is a relative transformation, and the third is a leading tone transformation. These are abbreviated to P, R, and L. So let's imagine a triad as a triangle, with each corner representing a note. On each side of the triangle, let's put additional triangles containing those neighboring triads, which each share two notes with the original triangle. That way, when we jump from one neighboring triangle to the next, we transform the chord through a one note change. As you can see, we have our parallel transformation, moving from C major to C minor, relative, moving from C major to A minor, and leading tone, moving from C major to E minor. Great, we have these four triangles, but how does Neo-Romanian theory go further? Well, if we keep placing these triad triangles, we create a sort of net, called the tone nets. When we have all of our pitches accounted for, we are able to get from any major or minor triad to another through a combination of P, R, and L transformations. This is where Neo-Riemannian theory really shines. One musical example that suits Neo-Riemannian analysis is Brahms' Concerto for Violin and Cello. During this excerpt from the first movement, the harmony uses a cycle of P and L transformations to transition seamlessly away from and back to A-flat major. Let's have a listen. 